Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 6 amazing best of the best 2024 upcoming adventure bikes first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Twenty twenty four Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL 750 Transalp, certifying the mid sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300 GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the ICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the 6-speed gearbox. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa Twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa Twin Adventure Sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa Twin Adventure Sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa Twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 rpm. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 mm. That's 5 mm, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase. 
which has remained at 62.0 inches across all variants since the update from CRF1000L to CRF1100L for the 2020 model year. The overall length decreased by 25 mm 1 inch to 90.7 inches, which cannot be accounted for by the new wheelbase alone. The data also shows a weight increase of 3 kg 6.6 pounds for both DCT and manual versions. The global motorcycling community may have accidentally gotten a hint at pricing for the upcoming 2024 BMW R1300GS. According to our European friends, the information briefly appeared in a BMW Financial Services drop-down menu on the US website. The menu option was quickly yanked down, and our own inspection of that site and drop-down menu shows that it's no longer visible as of the afternoon of August 14, 2023. If the information that motor ad screen capped is correct, US pricing should be $19,590. Pricing for motorcycles by international OEMs is often not a direct conversion, so it's not yet clear what if anything that pricing might mean for other markets. A perusal of the same site on August 14, 2023, yields American market pricing information for the 2024 R1250GS Adventure as well as the 2024 R1250R, RS, and RT. The R1250GS Adventure will be $21,440. The R1250R will be $16,040. The R1250RS will be $16,690 and the R1250RT will be $20,690. It's not yet clear if there are plans for an R1300GS adventure immediately upon its unveiling at the end of September 2023. Nor how such an introduction might impact pricing of the R1250GS adventure when it becomes available. The Piaggio-owned Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto, Guzzi dealerships. As its name suggests, the Stelvio draws a lot of inspiration from the existing V100 Mandelo. So the new adventure bike flaunts the same Guzzi special design language, complete with a distinct LED headlight and tail lamp. However, there's no shortage of bespoke elements here. The Stelvio boasts a new edgy fender up top, flanked by muscular side panels that merge into the radiator shrouds. The tank looks different too, and interestingly, we can't spot Moto Guzzi's unique adaptive aerodynamic flaps here. Instead, the tank now has beefy indents, possibly to help lock the knees when standing up. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek grab rails. This is partnered by a short, new exhaust with a dual-tone finish. Meanwhile, the overall ruggedness has increased, thanks to a tall, transparent windscreen, spoke wheels, and handguards, all missing on the existing ADV. Rounding off the design is a set of new color options.
The much-discussed optical unit split in two, the so-called split face, now seems to be at the end of its days. A new stylistic era is about to arrive at KTM, at least judging by the spy photos circulating on the net. The first pictures of the next one KTM Super Adventure, they date back to last November 2022, but in recent days other images that appeared on the forum. EU forum and taken from social networks and sector publications have been added. The element that immediately catches the eye concerns precisely the front which, as in the case of the Super Duke paparazzi in a prototype guise already last autumn, abandons the element divided lengthwise in two for a new structure based on two LED projectors arranged one above the other. In particular, in the new images of the Super Adventure, the front appears to be even more developed with the daytime running lights forming a sort of LED frame. Furthermore, a cover on the upper lamp suggests the presence of the radar sensor more integrated into the design of the front compared to the current one. They are also original large integrated turn signals which could also have a cornering function. The images suggest that there is no glass to cover the entire optical group and therefore the new face of the KTM 1390 Super Duke could be just that. Sure, cleaning it from the midges will be fun. We think it could also increase the hissing, but we'll remain in doubt until we have it before our eyes. And speaking of glass and rustling, on the prototype photograph, there is also an additional deflector on the upper part of the windshield, certainly useful for some tests. It's shaping up to be a pretty interesting year for Big Boar Adventure Bike News. As we head into the weeks before the Euro manufacturers typically release their new machines, Ben Purvis over at Bike Social says he's found evidence that KTM is working on a 1390 V twin, presumably to be launched soon. The information comes from poking around KTM's parts ordering system and finding references to a new 1390 engine. Wait, does that mean we? Suzuki has launched the V-Strom 800D Rally Edition in France. Compared to the standard model, the Rally Edition comes with new components. That said, the Rally Edition is currently only offered in the international markets. The V-Strom 800D is positioned above the V-Strom 650 XT. It was just back in November 2022 that the V-Strom 800D was unveiled globally. What's new in the Suzuki V-Strom 800D Rally Edition? While the design of the bike is the same as the regular model, there are a few differences. One of these is the new guard around the front fairing and a one more guard for the engine casing. From the photos, it also appears to get a different belly pan as well. All these changes are made to ensure a better off-road ability of the motorcycle. In terms of hardware, the V-Strom 800D Rally Edition comes with a fully adjustable upside-down front forks front and a rear monoshock. The rear monoshock is adjustable for both preload and rebound. Braking duties are handled by 310mm dual discs at front and a single 260mm disc at the back. The brakes come with dual-channel ABS as well. The bike rides of 21-inch front and 17-inch rear spoke rims shod in Bridgestone AX41 off-road ready tires. Powertrain of the Suzuki V-Strom 800D Rally Edition The bike comes with the same 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin motor. This unit develops 84 bhp and 78 newton meters of peak torque. The rider can choose from three ride modes, and comes with Suzuki Intelligent Ride System. Apart from this the bike also gets ride-by-wire, quickshifter, low RPM assist and easy start. Suzuki V-Strom 800D Rally Edition launches in France. Our neighbors across the channel have a new options pack to add to the Suzuki V-Strom 800D.
The Multistrada V4S Grand Tour has everything you need to explore the world with total control and the utmost freedom. Experience the ultimate pleasure of touring your way. Ducati officially introduced the newest member of the Multistrada family, the 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour. With a name like that, an informed motorcyclist would probably expect it to be a vehicle packed with all kinds of the bells and whistles that serious touring riders want. Those riders would be right, as this bike comes with a lot of standard features that those who spend long amounts of time in the saddle tend to appreciate. The heart of the 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour is, as ever, the 1,158 cubic centimeters V4 Gran Turismo engine. It makes a claimed 170 horsepower and 125 newton meters or approximately 92 pound feet of torque. Moreover, it was designed with the convenience of long-distance touring riders in mind in terms of maintenance intervals. Ducati recommends oil changes on this engine once every two years or 1,000 kilometers or 9,000 miles, and valve clearance checks once every 60,000 kilometers or 36,000 miles. The 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour is equipped with four ride modes, Sport, Touring, Enduro, and Urban. Both Sport and Touring allow access to the full range of the V4 GT's power, while Enduro and Urban both dial it back to 84 kilowatts, or 112.6 horsepower to better accommodate those types of riding. For both functionality and touring comfort, the 2024 Ducati Multistrada V4S Grand Tour comes with travel and radar packages fitted as standard from the factory. Ducati's adaptive cruise control and blind spot monitoring is standard on this machine, as is the Skyhook semi-active suspension. Additionally, Ducati's minimum preload and easy lift functions also come standard. Other standard equipment on the 2024 Ducati Multistrada V4S Grand Tour includes the adjustable windscreen, handguards, auxiliary LED lighting, tire pressure monitoring system. Heated hand grips and heated saddles for both rider and passenger, hands-free opening gas cap, a center stand, and matching side cases to help pack up your gear for your next trip. The center stand inclusion is particularly nice for routine maintenance that riders will need to do on long trips, especially chain maintenance. Short riders, Ducati is keeping you in mind with the Multistrada V4 family. There's a factory low suspension kit available for the Multistrada V4S, including the new 2024 Multistrada V4S Grand Tour as